Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to do a little tipsy get ready with me. Very old school YouTube, I know, but why not? It's Friday night as I'm filming this, excuse the hands, I've just taped hands, ready for the weekend, so it's fresh tan. Obviously when I wash it off in the morning it's going to be not so crazy. Cheers to the weekend. Um... So I haven't got my little clips that I clip my hair out of the way. Um, so we're just gonna, oh guys, that was the chair, not me. Um, we're just gonna tuck it behind the ears and hopefully that will not annoy me too much. Um, so I don't know if we're zoomed in enough, are we? Maybe a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna be filming my pretty much my go-to soft glam look that I do most days, even when I'm working, going out, going out for brunch. It's the sort of thing that I do, okay? So we're gonna show you how to do that. Not how to do it, I'm sure you all know how to do your makeup, but I'll show you what I do on a daily. So, first things first, um, I go through stages of trying different, this lighting's really bright isn't it, should I turn it down a little bit? So as I was saying, I go through different stages of what I like to prime my face with, it's who remembers, who remembers the old school Nivea um, post shave balm? <laughs> I remember those days, anyway, what I've been using recently Focus. Excuse the hands. Is La Roche Posay a fat clar? It's not in our language, I don't think. Or I can't read. Anyway, it's like a mattifying cream. And I use this when I'm not wearing makeup, when I'm going to bed. So I have quite oily skin, like in my T-zone. Um, but it is just so mattifying. So yeah, I use the La Roche-Posay. I also use their, I use most of their branded creams at the moment because they're really good, they work well with my skin type, so. If you're an oily babes like me, then you might want to try them because they're a good brand. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but you get what you pay for, I guess. I can't, I'm literally, this is how much it's loved. I'm literally trying to get out the last little bit. I think we're finished, you know? I think we are there. So I'm going to have to purchase more tomorrow. You literally can get it in boots anywhere. Um, anywhere? No, not anywhere. All boot stores. Um, I like to start with my eyes. I've already done my eyebrows off camera because um, it takes me forever sometimes because you want them to look the same. And also everyone's got their own brow thing anyway so I thought save time we'll do it off camera um I've got a few different concealers I'm using at the minute my NARS creamy concealer in shade custard has almost run out this one um so I'm mixing it up with the, this is quite this is quite pale so I like to mix it with a darker shade but it's the Laura Laura <laughs> Wow the L'Oreal Paris infallible apparently it's more than concealer hang on hang on not quite the professional I don't know if that's back to front upside down but put a bit of this one in the middle my eyes And 
I think I'm not going to use the NARS one because that's quite light as well. But I mix it in with the Maybelline Fit Me. And this is a darker shade. This one's in shade 20. And then I get my concealer brush. Same here somewhere. It's not going to be easy to find amongst all these brushes. I really need to sort out my brushes. Here we go. Give it a little clean. So I like to carve out my brow. I used to do the top, but I don't really carve the top of my brow anymore. I just blend the foundation in. blend out your concealer so it looks a bit crazy where it's really light but it will all come together in the end then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent powder and uh, what brush do you call this? It's Real Techniques. It's a contour brush, but we're using it for our eyelids because why not? Transition shades. I've drunk too much already. It's the Dark Deep by MAC. Why am, I, why am I showing you? Who do I think I am showing you all the products like that? Anyway, get a little fluffy brush. And this is HG Crease by Spectrum, I think. And just take it in the crease. Just going to use a little mirror on here because it's closer. Do I need to zoom you in or can we see what's going on here? Giving it a little base. Once that's all blended out, I like to go in and lift up the eyes i've already got quite cat eye shape but we like to lift it all up i am using my nude palette nude light palette by huda beauty here we go again showing you the packaging um and i'm gonna change to a smaller brush this is just one off Amazon, it's not a brand, I don't think, but it's just a little fluffy brush. And I'm going in, I don't think these, these haven't got like names, but I'm going in with this shade here in my outer crease. Um, I haven't even taken the film off this mirror because I've never used it and I can't actually see anything. So I'm literally going in the outer corner in circular motions and dragging it up. This helps blend it as you're applying the shade, if that makes sense. Twirl, drag, blend. And then I the same again on the other eye. And then I just go back in with oh, back 
in with the MAC Dark Deep and just go above where we've added the darker shade just to blend it out a bit more. Sometimes I use a eyeshadow to do a wing liner but today we are using my not my but it's Kat Von D tattoo liner and it literally looks like this it is so good for perfecting those lines um, I'm just going to go off camera and do this because I can't, I can't be doing this on camera. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. We've done the wing liner. I always neaten up with a wipe and just use my finger and, well, my nail to sharpen it up. Um, and now I'm just going to do my lashes. I don't I really care what mascara I use because I always put falsies on, false lashes. But... I am using a Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. Um, I've nearly run out of this, but as long as there's a bit of mascara on my lashes, then we're all good. Really need a new mascara because there is literally nothing left in here. So today for lashes, I am going to be using the brand Kiss Lash Couture and that is what they look like. The style of lashes I'm using is a little black dress. Apparently they're like mink, only better. So these look pretty long to be honest. I'm just going to test them out before I put them on my lid. Just going to trim the edges. Then I like to, so I put the glue on and then I like to leave them on the side. And let them dry a bit tacky. I don't put them on my eyelids straight away because they slip and slide around. I do like to use a good amount of glue, not too thick, but thick enough. And then literally your lashes don't come off throughout the day. It's amazing. And I will carry on with my face while they dry a little bit. So obviously I've got my primer on. Um, foundation. I am changing it up a little bit. But. I am using, which I love, the NARS Radiant, is it Radiant Foundation? I don't know. Sheer Glow Foundation. Um, I mix this with L'Oreal True Match, but I am going to be getting the Huda Beauty Foundation Stick. I've been requested. Requested? Recommended. Actually, shall I mix them together? I don't think I need to. I think I'm just gonna use the NARS today on its own. And I use my sponge. Sometimes I use a brush, but just depends. It looks like it's too dark for my skin, but as you can see, I usually think tan and get sunburned, so we like to go a little bit darker really hate this bottle though I do want the pump version because I feel like I waste too much okay I think foundation is all blended in hopefully um, but for concealer again I'm going to use the same the L'Oreal Paris Infallible I'm going to do a few dots under my eyes used to do the triangles but now it's all about the lifting 
as we're getting on a bit you know we're getting on a bit we need to lift the face got to that stage already and blending in with the Maybelline Fit Me and blend it out I like to go as close to the lash line and neaten up the edges of my wing liner it might look crazy light but bear with me i put my lashes on because it's the time to do it before they dry too much okay so lashes are on so going back in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, little tap, little tap tap, and where is my my powder brush? But apparently it's contour brush. The amount of different stages I have gone through contouring my nose as well is just ridiculous. My favourite is when I use cream contour and do it all properly, but we can always do a reverse contour using powder. And it does the same. It does the same, a little bit on the forehead. I'm just gonna let that have its moment, bake a little bit, sip some wine. So I'm brushing it off using this brush, which is my favourite, it's very well loved. I use it to dust off any excess powder. Okay, so once powder's all brushed off, we need to bring this all together. And by doing so, I'm using the MAC Dark Deep again. And I'll just do it all on the high points of my face, on my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose. Okay, and then we like to contour the nose one more time using that fluffy brush that I used earlier, wherever it's gone. And I like to drag it up to my eyebrow slash eyelid I also like to go just over the bridge of my nose some hula bronzer I have been told to try out the caramel one of these and Apparently it's a game changer, so why not run out of this? But now we need a bit of blusher, which I used to be a used to be a hater of a blusher, but it's all come back, hasn't it? Let's be honest. It's come back in the game and we're all loving blush. So the blush I'm using is by NARS again. It is orgasm it's quite vibrant but it's got a shimmer i don't know if it pick up on camera you need the smallest amount i literally dab it and that's enough a little bit on the nose and again one dab And then I go over where I did the contour. Just makes it look more natural, you know, a bit like sun kiss. Okay. We are almost there. Hopefully I've got enough memory. Battery's dying too, which is great stuff. For lips, I'm using um, MAC Cosmetics in the shade Will. In case you wanted to know, it's it's that shade. Oh, don't you hate when you 
sharpen a pencil and then top bit just breaks off on your lip. So, blend it out. Slacking on this wine, even though it's gone to my head. <laughs> For lipstick, lip, well, it's lip cream, soft matte lip cream by NYX. Hello. And this is in the shade London. Literally my go to. But I do want to try a lighter one, to be honest. But this is like perfect lip shade, if you know what I mean. Perfect like nude shade. Later. I am literally just using Revolution at the moment. I'm yet to buy a high end. But this Revolution one is in the shade Reloaded, if you wanted to know. And I just put it on my high points on my cheekbone. So it like blends in with the bronzer and not looking too light, if you know what I mean. I used to use quite a bright highlighter, but I like I like it to just look shimmery and match him with my bronzer. And a bit on the nose. So this is the final result. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope it was quite helpful. Maybe some tips and tricks that you want to try out. Or you just enjoyed watching me blabber on with a glass of wine and drunk wine with me. That is that is the real deal, to be honest. Um, but yes, please like and subscribe. I'll be very grateful. And I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully I'll get this up on Monday. Monday evening, probably. And yes, have a good weekend, have a good week whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in my next one.